Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. This is uh, Felicia and Tamika with Let Me Planet, and we are talking about another cruise ship here, the Norwegian um, Escape. And this was this is a fairly recent cruise ship. Um, it was built um, in the last 10 years, I would say. I can't remember. Five, six years more like it, actually. I think it's, it's definitely not that old. And this was one of my favorite ships. I know I've been on this ship twice. I will go back on the ship in a heartbeat. Um, it is what I would call a party boat. And um, you can tell from the beginning, the music was popping. It was very Miami. Pitbull is the godfather. And, you know, um, he does the little theme song to the, to the ship. So every, on every part of the ship, you hear that little theme song. And it was everything. It was everything. Really? There's the party boat? What were the nightclubs like? Um, it was it was more of a, definitely more of an upbeat Miami kind of vibe. So it was a lot of like a combination of and techno is not what they call it. It was more like a little bit of dubstep, a little bit of, you know, pop, hip hop, R and B. Like that was the vibe of it. Okay. Very, very young, very hip. Um, but there was also, you know, the jazz clubs and the dueling pianos and things like that. So there was, there was still something for everyone. Okay. There was definitely something for everyone for sure. hundred percent. Now, what uh, ports did you stop, stop at on this, on this ship? So with this ship, I did Eastern Caribbean and Western Caribbean. So for the Eastern Caribbean, we did, um, Nassau, St. Thomas, and um, Tortola, British Virgin Islands, for sure. I feel like there was one other stop in there, but I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. And then for the Western Caribbean, which I would probably say was one of my faves, we went to Belize, and we went to Mexico, and we went to Honduras. Okay. So... Um, as we know what happened to me in Belize, Belizean chocolate is very rich and very, very pure. And I had an allergic reaction, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm okay. <laughs> the left side of my, huh? That's a tip for our listeners. Uh, first, um, I had an allergic reaction to the food. What would you say one should have on hand? We'll okay, try. well, what I would say is for any cruise, it's very important to have your first aid kit that you bring from home because everything costs. If you go to the ship um, medical center, it's going to cost a lot. And if you go to the convenience store, you're going to pay like triple the price. So it's very important, I think, for everyone to have a first aid kit with them. And, and I'm not saying have anything crazy, just have, you know, some Tylenol, maybe some sleep aid, you never know, some bandages, um, some alcohol wipes. I'm sorry? Pepto-Bismol. Pepto-Bismol. Just what you would carry in a small um, first aid kit, maybe some hydrocortisone cream in case you get bitten buy something. I think those are all important things to have because it really and truly, oh, some cough drops. You never know. You might get, you know, a little, little tr throat tickle and then you end up paying $9 for a bag of hauls that you can get at the dollar store. I mean, like. So me on our last <laughs> cruise, I got sick the day we sailed. <laughs> so it's really important to make sure that you have a decent first aid kit for oh, sure. Very much so. Mm -hmm. And some needle and thread too. Okay. I would, I would also include that as well. Now, what was your favorite restaurant on the, the getaway? I'm sorry, not the getaway, the escape. So on the escape with, well, with Norwegian, all of the restaurants are fairly the same across the entire ship. Although depending on, um, on their newer ship, like the Bliss, they had additional things that weren't included on the Escape at the time because they have now this boardwalk mm -hmm. where they have different restaurants out there. Um, with the Escape, I did enjoy the ice cream shop. I am not going to front. And let me tell you, the best chefs were on the Escape. So my family is Jamaican. And when I tell you they had rice and peas that my mama approved of, 
on this boat and oxtails. That was one of our meals in the buffet. Oh, is that the one when you went to the Jamaica with the Jamaica port? No, no. Okay. It was a regular Caribbean cruise. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't go to Jamaica port. We haven't been to the port of Jamaica yet. But um, for this particular, yeah, it was, it had oxtails and rice and peas. And it was muy caliente. It was delicious. Man. Which is saying a lot because my mom was on that ship and she ate that rice and peas. My mom is picky. And she like approved. And she approved. That chef was, mm, he was good. It was so funny too, because then we also had a Jamaican housekeeper. <laughs> it was crazy. It was just the way it worked out. Um, and it was so funny too, because me and my mom, our rooms are right next to each other, but we had different housekeepers. So we both had different experiences. <laughs> okay. Now, would you say, like, I know on like the newer um, Norwegian ships, they have like the um, the race cars now, mm -hmm. the laser tag. Was any of those things on the escape? No, the escape did not have um, that. The bliss did though. We did that on the bliss. Yes, um, we did laser tag and go-karts on the bliss. I'm, I'm trying to remember what the escape had. I don't think the escape had anything out of um, the ordinary, but I do enjoy the kids pool area. Um, on the, on the Norwegian ships, I feel like they're some of the better ones because they have literally, oh, a mini kind of water park for the kids. There's apparatuses to climb and water's dropping on them. And they have a separate kiddie pool. And that is not the case on even Royal Caribbean. Okay. Now, what would you say your favorite thing about Fleetscape was? I mean, outside of the vibe and the atmosphere, I thought the food was great. Like both times we thoroughly enjoyed the food. Okay. It's probably some of the, outside of the, my Alaskan cruise where I had all the crab legs and shrimp I could live, mm -hmm. I could eat. It was probably some of the best food I've had on the cruise ship, bar none. And what could you have left? Um, I would say what I could live without was... You know, the same thing I talked a little bit about in the epic, when we talked about the Norwegian epic, was the lack of diversity in the main dining menus. I do feel that, you know, as you even mentioned, it was steak and farm-raised salmon and a piece of fish or, or, or a halibut or something. There, the lack of diversity in the main cabin pieces... Um, main cam and dining always got to me because I felt like my mother, who's a vegetarian, never really could be happy with anything she got. So we spent a lot of time at the buffet or at the fish and chips at the, the pub. Okay. Oh, the pub food was delicious, too. Like, my mom loved their fish and chips. Their burgers were really good. Their french fries were really good. So I highly recommend, I think it's like McGillan's Pub or something like that, or McGalvin or McGinnell's. Something like that. But their pub, their pub was, it was great. And you could just always go. As long as it was open, there, you didn't need no reservations or anything to just show up. As long okay. as they had, they were available. That pub on a different ship. And yes, it is very nice. The fish and chips was, was really good. Mm -hmm. And it's codfish. So it's wild caught fish. There's no farm raised cod. So um, if you have someone who cares about whether something is wild caught or not, um, mo all of the salmon on board is not wild caught. So if it, that's something that if it's important to you is to note for sure. Right. And um, what your was excursions it? on the getaway, what would you say your favorite excursion was? We went to the, this chocolate, this, this chocolate store and um, it was like a factory. And as soon as you walk up to the front door, it was like chocolate in the air. It was like chocolate particles just oozing into your pores. Like you smelled raw chocolate. And then they showed you the cacao pot and, um, you know, showed you about how they grind the chocolate and all the different mm -hmm. things. It was really cool. And, um, you know, you were sampling different types of the chocolate. It was so That's delicious. That's a Belize port? Yes. Okay. That was on the Western Caribbean cruise, the Belize port. It was divine. I loved every second of it, even, and it was well worth the allergic reaction. <laughs> when half my face swole up. <laughs> you know, something is good when you forgive it for swelling your face up. <laughs> I was 
to do it again. I just make sure I have my medicine with me. Luckily, my mom has some medicine with her because boy. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to be sick after this, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> my face was heavy <laughs> that day. Gosh. Um, what else could I have lived without? Um, and the one thing I would say, personally, I am a huge fan of Pitbull and his music. I love it. I listen to it all the time. It's like that upbeat hip hop with a good dance beat, you know, the dance beat, boom, 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 boom juking. If that's not your style of music, then um, it can get old real quick. Mm. Because as I said, the theme for the cruise, the theme song for that ship is sung by Pitbull. So they play it all the time. <laughs> So you, if you, if you're not a fan, it could get old. But I am sure a lot of people weren't necessarily Pitbull fans. But I saw them having a whole lot of fun on that boat. There was a lot to do for sure. And when I went on the escape, it was also fairly new. I think the first time it wasn't even a year old, and then the second time was a year later. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I'd do that ship again. Okay, very nice. So. Is there anything else that you would add to that you would like to mention about the experience that we haven't gone over? I would also say, and I think this can be a tip for all cruises, is to make sure you have small bills for tips. So for, you know, like small, like dollars and things like that. So like when you go on these excursions and you want to give a tip or when you are out and about, um, walking around the islands, because a lot of these, like, unlike a Mediterranean cruise where you have to go somewhere you're really right there right once you get off the ship so you might you know get on a local tour not necessarily a sponsored tour you might do a local tour and you want to make sure you have money for tip um and things like that or you might want to buy from local people having smaller bills is less change they have to provide which is always a good thing for the local folks um, there's a lot of different things, a lot of good food. Another tip is you cannot bring food back on from on the boat. So whatever you buy, make sure you eat it. The only thing you bring back is liquor. <laughs> so, so if you buy fruit or you buy, um, you know, food that you're eating, you definitely have to make sure that you eat it and, um, and toss anything that's left over. Cause they will not allow you back on the boat with any of that stuff because it's against the law. Right. Okay. And, um, you know, one of the great things about Norwegian um, is the free at sea. So definitely take advantage of it, especially if you're in, you're able to get all five free um, by being in a balcony cabin or depending on what promotion they have going on, because it does come in handy on these cruises, not having to worry about um, paying for internet or not are not having to worry about paying for every little drink or not having to worry about wanting to try out some of the main dining, like the Brazilian steakhouse or the hibachi or the regular steakhouse or the seafood place, um, which we heard, we've heard great things about all of those. Some of them we visited, some of them we haven't necessarily had the chance to try ourselves yet. But that's what I would say. Um, I loved this ship. I would, as I mentioned before, I definitely do this ship again. I would even do it doing an e uh, Eastern or Western Caribbean cruise. Cause it was, it was great. Um, it was the right amount of people, the right size. One of my favorite ships. I mean, the bliss is my all time favorite ship right now. Um, but with all these new ships coming out, we'll see. Definitely. All right. So thank you for joining us today as we talked about the Norwegian escape. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share our videos. Let us know. Um, have you been on the escape? What were your favorite things? What could you live without? Any tips you want to share with others? Um, definitely hit us up in the comments and we look forward to seeing you guys soon with another um, either another type of talk. It could be cruise talk, travel talk, budget travel talk. We got lots coming for y'all. Yes, we do. All right, bye-bye. See you later.